Oh, hi, folks. Hey, Bobby, have you seen Yank around by any chance? Not in a while. Why? Uh, some girl named uh, Jade was looking for him. She seemed to be very anxious to reach him. Grandfather. Yes, Grandfather. Yes, Grandfather. Yes, Grandfather. Yes, I frightened you. I didn't hear you coming in, Grandfather. You didn't answer me when I called, well, so it's I... It's all right. What, what were you doing? I thought maybe you'd left a note for Kim saying where you'd be. Uh, I was looking for a note somewhere. I'm glad I was here. I would have been very unhappy if, if I had missed your visit. Well, I knew you'd be upset after Kim's arrest. I thought maybe you'd like to have dinner with me tonight. You shouldn't be alone at a time like this. My dear Jade... You are a very considerate granddaughter. Think of me at a time like this. There's nothing more I would like than to spend some time with you. Well, dinner then. I, I wish I could, but I have a meeting I must leave for shortly, and I'm afraid I will be tied up for several hours. Are you speaking to someone? No, I, and I can't imagine who that would be. I'll get it. Thank you, Jade. Thank you. What's the meaning of this? I'll ask the questions, Will. Get off of my property! Stand aside, I've got work to do. This is my grandson's apartment. What are you doing here? Now look, if you don't cooperate, I'll have these people remove you from the premises. Now, is that clear? This search warrant doesn't give you the right to hassle me, Scorpio. Take your cat and get out of my hair. Jade! Please leave. My grandfather! Scorpio, I'm warning you. Bert, listen, take these guys and go into the other room, all right? And uh, the rest of you, I want you to uh, search Wu's office again. I will not have my granddaughter be a witness to this harassment and invasion of privacy. You're a free agent, Jade. I have no objection to your being here. But I do. I have spoken, Jade. Please leave. Yes, Grandfather. Tell me, what exactly do you expect to find here in my grandson's apartment? Robin is missing. I'm terribly sorry, Scorpio. Are you accusing me of being involved? I'm telling you right now. If one hand has been placed on that child's head, or she's been hurt in any way whatsoever, I will make you pay for the rest of your miserable life. Talk is cheap, Scorpio. Very cheap. Yeah? Well, my actions speak louder than words. You have nothing against me, not a shred of evidence, and furthermore, nothing to back up your false accusations. I just started, Will. <laughs> Every minute you spend here, you're wasting your time. You should be out looking for Sean Donnelly. He's the one who probably... Took your daughter. Yeah. Well, I can see it's already started to happen. Thieves and murderers, they always turn against one another. <laughs> I'm not a murderer and I'm not a thief. You should be looking for Frisco Jones and your friend Sean Donnelly. Listen, I don't need any incentive to go after Donnelly. I'll do that when I'm good and ready. And when I do, I'm going to find him. And when that happens, I'm going to have you both in the slam and you'll both be singing your heads off. We checked out Mr. Wu's office but couldn't find anything. I could have saved you the trouble. All right. There's a secret room in that office. You get access by a bookcase which is on the office wall. Pull it out, go behind, you'll then find a button which activates a, a wall panel. Okay? Now, wait a minute now. You have no authority here. I have the highest authority, Wu. Mine, I've deputized. You're going to pay for this, Scorpio. You're not above the law. I'm going to have you brought up on charges. What charges? You... They're officers of the law. Now, back out of it. Yeah. Bert, finish up here, will you? I want to check Wu's office again myself. All right, did the Green... Uh, excuse me, your deputies come up with anything? Uh, no. Yeah. Uh, why don't we uh, adjourn to your office, uh, Mr. Wu? 
Mr. Scorpio, how often do you intend to search the same place? Until I find something. Give me the key, otherwise I'm going to kick it in. Here. Strange. Not so strange. I own a cat, I keep cat food. So precious about the cat food. I mean, this is the sort of thing I would normally imagine you keep in the kitchen. Unless, of course, uh, you're worried about all pussy is selling you out once you turn your back. Enjoy your sarcasm, Mr. Scorpio. Yeah. Why do you keep these cans locked? Everyone doesn't love cats the way I do. I lock up my cat food to prevent someone from poisoning my precious jade princess. Anything else in here apart from can? Look for yourself. Mm, I will. Robert? What'd you turn up in Kim's voice? Uh, nothing. Nothing so far, but the green shirts are making another pass on it. Good. I want you to do me a favor. Yeah. Go through the secret room one more time. Uh, the green shirts are made of... Miss something first time round. Okay, boys. You got a problem? Do you realize how ridiculous you look, Scorpio? <laughs> Good news. We took another look through Kim's digs and found something. This. Where'd this come from? I have never seen it before. I give you that, it was found in Kim's apartment. You heard what I've said. This ring was stolen from Chen. You know very well you and Kim are using it to blame us green shirts for all the trouble in the quarter. You may think whatever you want to think. The truth is, I think you bought this ring here and no doubt planted it on my grandson. No doubt. It's not such a far-fetched idea, Commissioner. <laughs> we'll see. Sorry, Robert. Still couldn't find anything. The place is clean. Chairs, table, television set. We turned everything inside out and upside down. I'll warn you one more time, Will. You value your life. You'll hand Robin back to me unharmed. Let's go. my little princess I have not forgotten you my precious little darling you will not go hungry tonight but this is not for you the contents of this can is much too rich for your blood well I'll just wait here for a minute and I'll feed don't get lost out there it's very dangerous in the streets. Princess! 